Hey guys, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Sorry for the abrupt end again. Ingredients, throw them in the largest pot we can find and cook them for as long as possible until everything is a uniform grey colour. As soon as it looks completely bland and unappetizing, that's when I know it's done. You're having me on. <laughs> you need to eat in more Ferelden Inns. Woo! Ferelden Inns. Boys are better at magic than girls. Oh, really? I think we'll be alright now, thanks to you. The children are already a lot more. Not possible to pick. Oh, but I want to pick! Oh. So mean. Come on, you've rested enough. We need to get these out of the tower before they get fragrant. Touching this abomination. It's wrong! Why do we have to take them across the lake to burn? Right, right there. Alright, let's look at the apprentice note. Uh, first enchanted Dorval so fell suddenly to a disease of the lungs. This unfortunate distribution, disruption in the direct line of descent from tower founding should be treated as opportunity. The circle will reform practices to better address the times. Many rituals remain valuable, but some, the two bells, Gal Garnold's Lament, Watchguard of the Region, Benford Da, have little or no meaning in our texts. We will move forward as Dorval would have wished and commit these and other ceremonies to the age we left. We have no plan of estate. His belongings have been transferred to, into the common library for the benefit of all. Right, and now we can start doing the summoning fun. And I have forgotten how to do it, so give me a sec. Right, I've got the first one down. So the first thing we got to do is, uh, well, we touched the front fast, and now we've got to go find this tome of spirit personages, which is over there. Right, and then when you click it, it'll do that. Um, and then the last thing is to touch the summoning of the first, which is this circle here. That's the first thing done. Quest related. Um, spirit hog, the equivalent of a fade bottom feeder. The gullet of the spirit hog can contain minor gems, presumably coalesced from ethereal or ethereal elements in the fade. Such creatures cannot survive in the mortal realm without summoner intervention. Cool. We just killed an innocent animal. <laughs> And it's got a garnet on its body. Yay. Alright. And then we do the second one. So you touch the font again. And then you go find a book called Uncommon Calling. Which is down there. Where is it? There we go. Oh. Then you touch the statue called Gorvish. Which is in the front. Magus Gorvish. Uh, and then you used to click summoning the second, which is the middle one. Now, apparently you can actually loot the thing that appears that in it, so I'm going to save before I do it. And then touch it. On it. Did it work? Did it work? Damn it, it didn't work. Whatever. Anyway, uh, that one was a tri trickster whim. An, a moral entity that delights in observing corporeal and emotional discomfort. A dangerous preference, given that such creatures have little understanding or interest in the fragility of mortal flesh. Interesting. So yeah, something like you get a random item from him, so don't have to do it. And then we've got a third one, which is... Alright, and then the third one, you have to click the font again, obviously. And then you have to go to the final book called The Grand Bestiary. Which is... Over here, I think. There it is. 
then go to a carved spot which is on the table in the first part then find a book called the Spiritorium there it is, Spiritorium Etherealis or whatever then go find the statue again, Gorvish then find a phylactery and then touch the third one the third summoning uh, this will actually summon another thing you have to fight the Fade Rifter it's basically just a bear Now, so tell me, how did you become a Grey Warden? Yes, yeah, this is good. Just when you beat a bear, just talk to Win. Sure. <laughs> and sure, the it's better than being a castless tunnel rat in Orzammar. I have learned a little of the strict caste system of the dwarves, and I apologize for saying this, but it seems terribly backward. Regardless of what happened in your past. I am glad you found a place with the Wardens, as I'm sure you are too. It is nice to be seen as something other than a brand. Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be alright. You were chosen. You survived the joining when others did not. Perhaps it was meant to be. Yay, win approved. So Let's handy. get started. Just give me the mitts. Right. And like I said before, there is one secret one that is not really possible to know unless you actually know about it. Which I shall do in a minute. I just want to see if I can find the new code extension we got. The Fade Rifter. The Rifter is an assembled consciousness given form in the moment of the ritual. Its appearance is intended to frighten the summoning apprentice, ensuring they respect the Fade. While essentially a construct, the beast is nonetheless very real and possessed of a fearsome will to be free. Alright, so don't meddle with it. <laughs> so now we're going to do the final one, the fourth and final one, which is going to be told in a minute when I find out. Alright, the next part is to click the summoning font then you do basically everything all together so you go find the tomb of a spirit personages which is on the other side right. then find uncommon calling Then touch Gorvish. Not in that way, but yeah, you go touch the statue. Then the bestiary. Which is all the way down here. This should be easy enough. Then the carving. Hope we don't run out of time before I finish this. Then E3 Alice. Then Gorvish again. Then the phylactery. On it. And then you actually go do the fourth one. But we'll do that in the next episode. So in the next episode we'll be summing the final thing and I'll show you what the secret thing is. Woohoo!